little sips I'll leave in water. They'll grow some roots and they'll be ready to plant. So one week later, these slips have already grown roots and they'll be ready to put in the ground. Corn is slowly coming up. Are you doing your job? Scaring all the little creatures away? You look scary enough to me. Are you doing your job? And what about you? Are you doing your job? You're creepy enough looking. Another tree fell on our trail. Must be a Sasquatch here because that's quite high up. This was my little tomato plant that got froze. He only had two little leaves, if you remember. And now he's starting to grow real big and strong. Just had to give him a chance. So this is what I have to do every night to protect my cabbage. Because I have a little creature that likes to come and chew on the leaves. Seems to be a festival of these little brown butterflies everywhere. There's something in there. There's something in there. I don't see anything in there. Crazy dog. There's nothing in there. I said that before and then we seen a groundhog come out, so he might be smarter than we are.
we finally got some much needed rain after a dry spell. The grass is starting to come back green. We only cut it once so far. And today I'll give it a second cut. Lettuce is the first thing we're going to eat out of the garden. Ready to pick. Nice and fresh. Onions are coming along. And the potatoes back there are doing real well. So we had a little bit of car problems. The oil leak came on, didn't stay on very long. Next thing you know, the uh, motor jammed. So if you take a look in here, you can see we're uh, slowly pulling the motor out of this. It's quite a job. There's the injector rails. All the wiring had to come off. Even the water circulator over on this side had to come off. And now we're trying to get the uh, alternator out to give us more room to be able to pull this out. So after, I'll show you underneath there. The problem with this, the motor's jammed, so you can't take the wheel, the uh, bolts out of the flywheel. And we have to undo the oil pan to uh, be able to loosen off the bearings and turn the crank. Once we get the crank to turn, then we'll be able to remove all the bolts on the flywheel underneath. I'll show you that later. Okay, for now. Okay, what is that thing? That's the oil pump. That seems to be part of the problem. So once we get that off, we'll be able to remove the undercover of the engine. Then we should be able to obtain the bearings on the crank, loosen them, and then we'll be over here. We'll be able to take out the rest of the bolts off the flywheel in there. So that's hoping that uh, everything else goes well. It's a bit of a nightmare working on these. So as you can see, this is where the uh, sprocket goes. We'll get the sprocket and I'll show you how it goes on there. And it's very difficult to turn the, uh, the pump. This should turn freely. So that tells me that there's something damaged inside the pump area. So to go and see, you'd have to undo all this. But I'm not going to bother. We're simply going to replace this piece when we replace the bearings on the crank. And we'll replace the timing chains uh, with this engine. Because at this uh, mileage, they're due to be changed. So, <clears throat> can't turn her. No oil circulates. That's the end of that. That's what jammed the engine? That's what jammed the engine. The oil pump failed. The oil light come on and within a few seconds the motor jammed. So that's what happened. This piece here actually come out of here. This is the pressure. That's what the feeds the oil throughout the entire engine. And when you got pieces like this popping out of there, this is actually part of the pump. That's not supposed to be happening. So that tells me that the interior of the pump has failed and is coming apart. There you go. The pump broke. As you can see, the gear has broke and the pump has failed. 
and that's what jammed the engine. There's even pieces in here. Whoops, there's some more coming out. So as you can see, the pump here failed. That's pieces. Bump. They're not supposed to be broke? No. They're all supposed to be together and all the little pieces fit in here like that. And that goes around and that's what creates the pressure inside the pump. So we took it apart and you can see here, that's where the gear was supposed to be. That's what's left of it. So we'll have to buy a new pump and uh, redo the bearings on the engine. So now we're 100% sure what happened to the motor. So when you're taking an engine apart, you have to mark all the pieces you're taking off and where the bolts go back. That's it. All the bags are marked with the bolts where they belong. That's very important that they go back to the right place. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.